Okay. All right. So before I went off, my internet, I'm, I've, I've tried to change to another one, but still it indicates it is unstable. Do you hear me? Yes. I can hear you. Hello? Okay, I can fine. hear you, Daniel. Um, I wanted us to, okay, that's fine. I just wanted us to look at two things. One was, uh, one is around, okay, since now we have more people within the, the platform. One, just some, some demonstration on one, on the frequently asked questions. And then the second one is on assessment. Okay, because we have integrated assessment in the platform, and I just wanted us just wanted to show you a bit of this. Okay, now related to let me share my screen. Right. Richard, what do you see on the screen? I can see enhance, okay. Young Africa categories courses, empowering youth. The, yeah, just the the The, the welcome page. page. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. the home page of Young Africa. Okay. Now, the first bit I just wanted to, to, to show how we could use the AI wiki we integrated here to answer some of most of actually most of the questions we could may we may have. Okay. Around the e-learning platform, okay? So uh, again, I just want us to have some view here so that we can eventually concretize and say, what do we need exactly, okay? For our frequently asked questions. Now, one thing which is clear is that our e-learning platform is based on Moodle learning management system, okay? And since this is a universal learning management system, most of the questions we could may really want to categorize as under frequently asked questions, in my view, can be answered by the AI, okay? And I just wanted to take just one example. Okay, just as a demonstration. Richard, what do you see now? I'm seeing uh, six questions. Okay. The first one says is, what, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So if, for instance, I have, okay, and this would be some of the common questions, okay? Let's say if I just wanted to know what are forums in Young Africa e-learning platform, how do I use particular forums? How do I use what as assignments and so on and so on? Most of the questions which are related to the e-learning platform, okay? What we really need to do, okay? First of all, I think would be extremely important that we just need to tell AI that Younger Africa e-learning platform uses a Moodle learning management system. Okay. Once you, 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 you tell it that one, 
then it should be able to answer all my questions here, okay? Oh, but of course the other bit also, you need to give it, um, how do you want it to respond? So for instance, see, I'm asking it act as a professional online course designer. So if I'm really designing a course and then I'm interested in certain things on the e-learning platform, then I'm just asking it, first of all, to act as a professional online course designer. Then I tell it that Young Africa e-learning platform uses a Moodle learning management system. Then I can start asking my questions. So if I take, I just want to pick the first bit here. So um, right, I just want to give it my first question, okay? So if I take that, then I get back to here. And if I added in that, Let me try to copy this. So then, you have forums in the Younger Africa e-learning platform, uh, whatever, there are so many types and so on and so on, okay? So you, you can continue doing that, okay? You can continue then ask the next question. Uh, what was my second question? Okay. So if I wanted you to explain, how is that second question? So I can then type in my second question. Okay, and so on and so on and so on. Okay. So um so okay, this one this one I just did it before before the meeting. So you can see that. Most of, okay, explain, for instance, if I just wanted to explain how I can use assignment in my online, uh, sorry, ask it first. What assignments in the Younger Africa e-learning platform? It tells me what assignments are, okay? And I'm going to demonstrate, okay? how we have integrated assignments here. But for instance, if we, if we really wanted, if we are giving students work, okay, in terms 
resolve what them to write essays, project reports, presentations, and so on. We have to use assignments. So you can ask it what assignments are. And then in terms of, yes, in my TVET course, how can I use assignments? It would really indicate, okay? So the point we I'm trying to, to, to drive here is that with the integration of AI into the platform, and when you take off time, and first of all, tell it that Young Africa e-learning platform is based on a Moodle e-learning platform, it should be able to answer most of the questions around uh, most of the questions you have around Young Africa e-learning platform. Okay. What it won't be able to answer are questions which are specific to Young Africa. Okay. For instance, because for now it can't answer them. If you say how many courses does Young Africa provide and so on and so on, it won't be able to answer those but also it won't be able to answer questions around uh, customization, okay? The new, the new things which we have added within the Young Africa e-learning platform, okay? So why am I bringing this? I just want to, to have your idea around uh, the frequently ask because we want we want to complete this activity okay from our end of frequently asked questions so if most of the questions can already be answered so what other questions should we include because we we, we need to have a page for frequently asked questions but i just want to be advised okay uh as one who is leading the team on this area of frequent asked questions. So what should we concentrate on, okay, under these frequent asked questions? Any input from your side? I'm suggesting, Daniel, Yes. That um, yes. some of the questions should be able to answer how they, uh, first of all, how the grading is actually done. And then maybe, yeah, especially that one there, I think would be important. How the grading is done. Under frequently asked questions. Yes. Mm -hmm. Any input from from Young Africa team? None, none from me at the moment. Yeah, because um, I'm, I'm really, we just want to complete this. Okay, it is part of um, the project requirements. Okay, <laughs> part of the deliverables, the one for frequently asked questions. Okay, so it is an activity which we have to do and complete and deliver, but we just want to be advised more on what should be within 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 that frequent asked questions? Because most of the questions related to the platform, just the technical questions related to the platform can be answered already, can be answered already by AI. The other question I could think of is um, is there a chance for my marks to be adjusted in case I do an improvement. I think that would be relevant. I can paraphrase it in a better way, but around there, that idea.
Is there? Is there a chance of uh, adjustment of my marks if I record improvement in a particular activity? I mean, I may go back to a previous activity and make an improvement. Is this opportunity for my for my grades to change? Okay. Now, when when you look at when you look at this frequently asked questions, which should really be on the home page? Who, who are the people who are asking these questions? Do you think they are they are students in a particular course? Or this is general public? Uh, I think this would be the participants, the trainees. The ones because who need the the maths. Because the trainees have an opportunity of asking questions within the courses. Mm. But you are we, we are putting the frequent ask questions on the on the home page. So it looks like <laughs> I, I I need more more, more guidance on this. Because it okay. looks like these are questions by the general public. If it is for the general public, uh, the dimension may have to change to some point. Uh, of course, some questions still for the participants can be relevant for the general people also, but uh, we may have to think more broadly then. For example, I may be, I'm assuming myself hitting at the home page. One thing I would like to know is maybe um, what what do I gain by what do I gain by having maps? What does it lead to? Do I get a certificate? You know that kind of thing. I think that would be something of interest to the general public. Okay. I would also imagine that uh, most of the questions people would have on the front page would be to do with Young Africa itself. What, how many, okay, what are the, its learning centers? What courses do they provide? Uh, yeah, rather yeah, than very, yeah. very, very, rather than very, very specific course questions, okay. course, yeah, course yeah. questions. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, Irene, maybe would would really need some. What are the general questions with young, people ask Young Africa, so that we we they are the <laughs> questions we could put in the frequently asked questions. Uh, one question I can see uh, in, in a broader sense is um, this online course fine. Is there opportunity for face-to-face -face also? Uh, I'm seeing myself ask such a question. Um, My internet I, is unstable. <laughs> uh, will I repeat? Hello. I can hear you. Uh, Dan, I don't hear you. Hello, I missed. I have very unstable internet today. Uh, do you hear me now? Yes, I do. Okay, so my what I was raising is that um, uh, I'll be as a visitor to the site, the page. I'll be very much interested in um, whether there are opportunities for face to face also or entirely. Is it 100% online or 
is a hybrid with opportunity of maybe being participating in the face to face and therefore where is it in Zambia? Is it in Mozambique? Is it in Namibia? I think I'll be interested in that also. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, then any other country? No. Mm. Uh, the other will be what are the courses? What are the courses you offer? And, uh, you know, what does it lead to? Is it a certificate or what? What kind of certificate at the end do I get? Uh, some will be interested in knowing what about the tuition? What is expected from me in terms of tuition? I sure. think that would be a very important one. Okay. Okay, so again, uh, you, you can share your ideas, okay, with us, okay? but also Young Africa, send us those, <laughs> those frequently asked questions, they really ask, people ask, who want to join Young Africa, who want to do courses, at what levels, and so on, so that we can complete this task. Okay. My next bit was to, to share around uh, assessment, okay. Now, when we get into, let me share my screen. Okay, well, I have looked at the content which we, we, we have received and we are working on, okay? And I can see uh, for approach to assessment, okay, weighting of practical and theory assessment, 70% practical, 30% theory, okay? So the th but the the theory uh, proposed it to be carrying thirty percent. Okay. The platform can take care of all of the theory assessments. Okay. So we we um the practicals. Okay. Of course, those ones want to be done online. But the online, the the e-learning platform can take care of the theory assessment. And in my view, all the theory assessment can be done online. And I just want to, to share a few of examples how we, we are integrating the theory within, within the platform. So one of the tools which we are using, and let me get back to our course.
So when you look at the course and for one of the activities which we are supposed to be doing okay, was the one for assignment. The one for assignment, and I think in this particular one, We are supposed to, okay, and then upload your work as a PDF. Okay, so there are many cases where, for instance, you want students to make, okay, to to do a project. It could be a project work, and then after the project work, you want them to write a report of the project provide the evidence that they have done the work and then you they are supposed to submit that work let's say as a pdf okay so then if they submit the work what i want i uh i wanted uh, oh i want to demonstrate is now when they submit this work how then would the trainers mark the work? Okay. So I am going to first of all log out and try to log in as, as a student. Okay. Try to submit my work. So, um, and then log in as a student and then try, try to submit. Give me a bit more time. Okay. Okay, right.
so I'm, I've logged in as a student, okay? So if I get into, the course okay so this is the, the work week we are supposed to be doing and here we are using the functionality of assignment uh, my internet is unstable <laughs> So I, I have So there was an assignment to be done. Okay. So if you want them to, if it is essay work or you want them to to answer questions. Okay, instead of writing on a piece of paper, so you get to add add submission. Okay, here they are supposed to be submitting their report or submit their assignment. So I get up there, and then okay, they they have to add you okay, add the file. Now, in this case, again, when we are setting up, like here I see only accepted file is PDF. Okay, so let me get to this. So the students would then submit their work and I'm just going to submit in a PDF file. Okay. Use the seventh. Right. Okay. You can see one PDF file here. Let me submit this one. I'm assuming that they are upload the file. So they upload their assignment. Mm -hmm. It is saying here save changes. It is giving some, uh, it is giving options. Either if uh, the student is interested in removing the submission, can remove it, you can edit it or submit the assignment. It is still saying you are saying draft not submitted yet. I'm really sorry about today. Richard, do you hear me? Darren, I hear you. 
Okay, fine. So let me share my screen again. All right. This is something different. Seem to have lost my track. Again, excuse me for a few minutes. Okay. All right. <clears throat> So I was at this point, uh, the student needs to submit the assignment, let's see, because I, I see grading status, not graded, submission status, draft not submitted. Let me try to submit and send. Right, it requires the student to make some confirm submission. This submission is my own work, except where I have acknowledged whatever. Okay, so let's get there. Right. So eventually, this uh, submission status submitted for grading. Okay. So the student has now submitted the work for grading, but the worker is not graded yet. Okay. Um, I'm going to log out from the student side, then log in as a trainer or facilitator and look at this uh, uh, and show you how I'm going to grade, okay? To mark and grade this work. So as a student, let me log out. Okay, I'm going to log in as a facilitator.
So going to the assignment. So as a facilitator, I can see that yes, I have 23 participants, but two of them have submitted work, but the one which is needing grading is one is just one. Okay. So I can view all of the submissions. So I see this particular one submitted for grading and was graded. Okay. The one day, okay, I can see has submitted and needs grading. So I get to grade. This is the document which I submitted, okay? <laughs> the PDF which was submitted. So as the facilitator, I can see whatever the, the students work. Okay, I'm just assuming this is the students work. I can see the students work. I can read through, but then I have tools here. If I check it up here, Okay. There should be tools which I can use for marking. Let's see. It should be somewhere here. Right. Okay. So I have the tools which then I can use for marking if I just need to make any comment within or to as I mark. Okay. Uh, for instance, if I am marking some points and I see maybe this is fine. Okay. If I, I there are areas where I see the student is wrong at some point. Um, if I wanted to write some comments, okay. I can indicate some comments here. Good work. Yes, sir. Okay, and so on. So after you have done your marking, then based on the grading, okay, because it has a grade, you have the grading criteria. Say maybe if um this is 40%, can indicate 40 out of 100, and then I can save, save changes, save and move to the next, and so on. Okay, so once I have marked and saved the changes, 
the student should be able to receive his graded work. So I just want to log out as, uh, as a facilitator and log in as a student again. So just give me a few minutes so that I log out from here. I'm going to log in as a student. So the student is Daniel. Okay, let me go to the same activity now I'm in as a student. So as a student, I can see um, grading status. I can see as a student that my work was graded My grade okay, was given 40 out of 100. I was graded by Daniel Kakinda. Okay. Um, if I wanted to view the file, there are two, two ways. View the anode, anode the, the file. Uh, this is what they the teacher okay how uh, the teacher marked i can read if he wrote any comments if he did what whatever i can see that but i can also download my graded file graded work okay So this is the work week, week I have received, okay? So basically what I have shown was one, that for answer type of questions, project reports, project work, and so on, the students would do their work, okay? But have it typed submit the file once they submit the file then the facilitator or the trainers the instructors online would see the files which have been submitted they would grade them okay read through mark them mark them online grade them online and then once they finish the grading the student should be okay should be able to receive their marked work and they can download their marked work okay so that is partly how the assessment is going to be done okay where people need to write the other part there's some assessment which is done automatically but before i go to the automatic assessment I just want to invite any questions around 
what I have demonstrated. Hello? Hello? I have no questions uh, understood. Richard, Joshua, okay, any, any, anybody who has questions around how marking is going to be done? The one week is not automatic. We also have automatic marking on the platform, but the one week is going to be done by the trainers. Just so you, you have some question? Richard, you have? Uh, I don't, though I'm here thinking, um, I don't even know that this thinking is relevant. We, we have seen the, the one that can be done online. We have the one which is practical. Um, ask myself how the two now come together, but maybe that's now beyond the scope of this, I don't know. Uh, in my, okay. <laughs> In my view, I think um, when, when you look at the assessment suggestions, because the assessment is in a number of, in number of areas, okay? There's one week is the practical assessment has, I think has to be done first by face to face, because in my view, the assessors must be looking, must be uh, noting, okay? Say if you are doing a practical on cooking, let's say there must be physical physical assessors, okay? Who would be tick? Who would ha have a checklist? Yes, this one you have done it properly. This one you have done it properly. So the the <laughs> um, I don't know. Do I shift to another? <laughs> I, I, do you get me now? Richard, is is it still unstable? Hello? Yes, I'd also briefly gone off, but I'm back. Oh, okay. Because um, I, I have looked at the documents for assessment, okay? And I think the assessment is in a number of ways, okay? We, each course has got some theoretical aspects, okay? And in my view, they, and they are suggesting 30% for theory and 30% going for practical. In my view, the theory assessments can be done online, okay? Either we can automate them, and I will give some examples where we have automated them, or the students can submit their work, the trainers mark them online, the students can download their marked scripts. But there is also the practical assessment which has to be done, okay? Physically, the assessors must do, do it practically, okay? <laughs> if the, you, you are doing welding and so on and so on, this one has to be done physically, not online, not on the e-learning platform. And that one, I, I have seen the, the documents are suggesting 70%, contribution of 70%, okay? But I've also seen another assessment, the assessment at the institution, but also there's the assessment at the workplace. So I think there's quite a combination of in, a number of things. Okay, where we, we, we have to be assessed and in different ways. But for, for me, I know the theoretical assessment can be done online. 
Uh, then I, I entirely agree with you that it can be done online. Um, however, I'm just thinking to myself, what are the possible risks, especially in terms of uh, maybe students compromising uh, doing my practice? And therefore, are there any safeguards we should think about? I don't know what the other people. Um, <laughs> I I think those are things which young Africa has to be looking at. Okay, in terms of how do you, uh, where where students are doing assessment online? How do you ensure they are the actual students who are doing the work? Not 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 somebody that is doing it for them. Okay. Maybe the yes, other yes. question for you. Okay. I was agreeing that I think it's also difficult to really ensure that um, it's the actual student who is working on that unless there is a proctor who is able to to see what's happening, who can see the screen. Otherwise, uh, it will be very difficult. Okay. Uh, Daniel? Yes, please. The, maybe the other question, this may be obvious, but I think still worth asking, is, um... There's no obvious question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, mm. I mean, the, the answers may seem obvious, but I think it's worth asking. Um, does do members of Young Africa see advantage of this online grading to the traditional way of doing it? Do they see it give, giving an up advantage? Over the traditional ways of, of, of doing the marking. Of course, uh, <laughs> I'm not providing any answer. And like you say, you you said obvious question, but some obvious questions, seemingly obvious questions, are harder to answer than the non-obvious ones. Okay, but all these are things weak. Weak. I think young Africa has to look at. Okay. Um, of course, there are advantages, there are disadvantages, but there are also areas. How do we ensure? Okay. But I also know that a number of universities have online, 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 online courses. So how do they do it? Do it? So maybe benchmarking with other organizations, other institutions, we are doing online online assignments, online exams, and so on, would really help as we move forward. Okay. Now, I just want now then to share the other bit, okay, where we can automate, okay? So that um, a lot of, there are those ones where we would need the intervention of the, of the trainers, where the trainers have to, to mark. But there are also cases where we we can where the worker can be automated, okay. So if I I can share my screen again.
let me log out to this student The other type of the other types of assessment which we can automate. And I just want to give you some examples already within the platform. Okay, I'm going to pick from foods and beverage, beverage service, okay, and maybe you have um, or let me pick from cooking. Yeah? Okay, methods of cooking. Okay. If I, I have okay, I know for instance, like like in any of in any of the the courses, we have different terminologies which are being used. Okay, so for instance, we have quite a lot of terminologies which we use in methods of cooking, steaming, deep flying, and so on and so on. Okay, now suppose because these students are reading on their own, it is important for you at different points to check on them and say, are they understanding some of these terms? Okay, so for instance, I I could we could have yes we have introduced the terms, but maybe can we check that they they remember some of those terms? So maybe we have a progressive we have an assess test aims can transfer and uh, let's get here. Mm -hmm. So if uh, I have an assessment, really, within here, I just want to assess, there's a progressive assessment, but just assess their knowledge, their knowledge of terms associated with cooking methods. So maybe all what I need is create an interactive An interactive puzzle, crossword puzzle. 
Okay. <laughs> and with this crossword puzzle, you are really just trying to check on them. Okay. Now, one bit around um, where you are asking students to do self study, you need to incorporate progressive assessment to check either on their understanding or to check on their knowledge. Okay. Now, this one is really just to check on their knowledge. Okay. So you'd have, for instance, have a self-marking crossword puzzle, cooking food in a liquid at its boiling point. Uh, maybe what is that one? Heat transferred in form of infrared and so on. Cooking food slowly in a small amount of liquid in a tightly sealed. So you, you really, Number six, six across is what? Six across. And so on. So I'm just going to, to put apply okay and so on and so on i don't have time to think about, to think of the answers okay but then with this one here you can check okay and so on and it can score them okay it can score them uh, automatically so you can have automatic automatic grading with those okay but also let me take the the one before so where are you asking questions like questions we can multiple choice questions you really don't need an intervention of the trainer okay so these other ones here you can say um the interactive self marking quiz with cooking methods it involves cooking food in an oven with dry heat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I have got that one right. And so on and so on. Now, at the end of the day, okay. You, you really have this work is automatically, okay? So the, the, the work is automatically graded, automatically marked and graded. So the students automatic, automatically receive their, grade, their grades. Or you can have cases like, I'm going to pick another example. Um, let me pick. An example from uh, foods and beverage. And maybe what do we have here? I know like in foods and beverage, okay, I, 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 I know one of the learning outcomes, these people should be able to identify, okay, 
to identify the type of glassware and so on. So if I have um, just test to see whether they can identify weak of these, okay? Can they identify what the high ball is? Oh, those are the types of glasses, okay? And say, um, where is in a, I don't know which one. Old fashion. Let me check those. Okay. So again, there's quite a lot of work which we can which we can automate. Okay. So for the theory assessment, as I said, we can use two. Okay. We can automate auto automate and quite a lot of it is. A lot of the assessment is automated, but then the other one is where we have the intervention of the trainer. Okay. So um, those are the two things which I wanted to demonstrate. So unless if you have some questions or other suggestions of uh, regarding assessment, Um, hi, Daniel. Yes, honest. How are you? I have had a challenge today. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Is your laptop back? Uh, I'm using somebody's laptop. Okay. Yes, but um, the challenge that I've had is uh, internet and uh, joining in the meeting. Because it kept on, I just screenshot the what it was saying to uh, uh, should be tell. Uh, I screenshot what it was saying. It was just saying you are joining the meeting. You are joining the meeting. Joining the meeting. It's not coming up. And when it when I join, it was going off again. So this is when apparently I've managed now. <laughs> Unfortunately, okay. it's almost time up. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I wanted to say that uh, today it's been okay. the challenging year. Yeah. It has and also then, uh, been challenging for me of today. Today, internet, my internet has also been bad. Oh, okay. Hmm. So I tried. Uh, Where are you? Sorry. Were you able to 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 to, to do the mobile app okay Moodle, Moodle mobile app offline functionality i i was doing that but i think i didn't get it right because i didn't get instructions clearly i started working on it but i think it was taking me back every time i tried i think it was failing so that's one of the things i wanted to find out yeah there's a document which i sent out when was it on Sunday? Yes, I saw it. I saw it. Okay, and you tried it and didn't work? Uh, yes, this is what I was saying in that. Um, I actually, I'm actually looking at it on my mobile. Okay. So I, yeah. So I don't know what was, what, challenge, what the challenge was, because I suspected I didn't have a bundle, but I realized I had to buy but it kept on doing the same thing. When I reached what was a it? place, hmm. what it was, was just it telling doing? me, it was just telling me enter password. Then when I enter the password, it's uh, just loading. Yeah. It, it, it means you, you are not able to log into the platform. Using the phone? Using because uh, on mobile. the phone there are two ways of logging into the platform okay one is using the web browser but then uh -huh. the second one is using the moodle mobile app okay 
Did you I download did. the Moodle mobile app? Maybe I didn't download. Maybe that's why it was fading. Okay. okay. So, so where so do I download it because, from? Because there are two ways. From the app store. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So where do I download it from? From the app store. Or from the app store. Okay. Yes. So, okay. Sorry, sorry, Mr. Honest. I think we can we can help each other later to to configure that. Oh, okay. 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 No, that's that that's that's okay then. Mm. That's fine. Okay. No, I think that's a challenge that I had. Maybe I would have to. I I I would yes with Mr. Joshua because he's here. At least he can help me. Okay. Yeah, sure. That, that should be able to solve most of your problems. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because All if, right. he, if, yeah. you, if you can do most of the work offline without internet connection, then it would really. Yes, it, I think it so. would solve most of the things. Yes, please. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Any other issue? A question because I want to go to rest. Eh? I've been sick since Thursday, <laughs> but I didn't want to miss this <laughs> today's session. Oh. oh, no, sorry. We hope you get well soon. I hope so. Okay, that is all from my side. Thank you very much, Daniel. Welcome.